open Inkscape, go to view, zoom and zoom one to one. And the page out of the view by middle clicking and dragging to left. Or you could hold the space while moving the mouse. Now let's create a grid. Go to file, document properties, grids. Select hexonometric grid and create one. Make the minor grid invisible by making the alpha channel zero. Make the major grid visible by changing the color to white. Close out of the dialog. Choose the text tool and type a word you like. Now go to text, text and font and select the font size to be around 64 and click apply. Mine is already at 64. Now hold down control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom to around 400%. Choose the select tool again. You can see this is a text object. We have to convert it into a path in order to add some path effects. Select the text, go to path, object to path. Now if you double click, you can see every single letter is a path. Now select all the letters and make it a single path by going to path union. Now to apply the path effect, go to path, path effects and click the, and click the plus button and add the effect called perspective envelope. Now if you select the node tool or double click the object, you can see four white nodes in the corners. Before you adjust these nodes, make sure you have snapping turned on. Now adjust the left nodes to be in the same diagonal grid line. Do the same for the right side. To make the changes permanent, go to path, object to path. Now choose the select tool, right click and duplicate the text and give it a color of your choice. Hold down control while dragging down the text to move it in a straight line. Now send the text backwards by clicking this button or press the end key on your keyboard. Now select both the objects by holding down shift. Go to extensions, generate from path, extrude. Make sure you have selected follow curves and click apply. Now close out of the dialog. Now deselect everything by clicking outside those objects. Select the generated object and hold down control and drag it down in a straight line. Disable the stroke by selecting the X icon while holding down shift. Select the second text and delete it by right click delete or delete button on your keyboard. Ungroup generated text. You can see it consists of a lot of rectangles. Now let's select every single letter and group them. To select every letter, since it is painstaking to select every single rectangle individually, I'm gonna hold down the ALT key and click and drag. Now there's a red line appearing. This line selects every object that is overlapped with. Select the letter carefully and go to path, union. Repeat the same process for every letter. Now select all the letters and give it a solid color by going to object, fill and stroke and click the solid color icon in the fill tab and change the color.
and make the alpha channel 100. You can see the letter C is not perfect in its corners. Zoom in, select the bezier or the pen tool and draw a polygon to cover that area. Repeat the same for the other side. Now select the letter C and the two polygons by holding down shift and go to path union. Select all the letters and group them. Right click group. Hold down control and move it up and snap it in the edge of the letter E. Duplicate the text by right click duplicate. Change its color, hold down control and move it down and send it backwards by clicking this icon. Repeat the process two or three times as you wish. Now select the text layer on top and duplicate it and give it a black color and move it down. Turn up the blur and send it backwards to make it look like a shadow. Now create a rectangular background by selecting the rectangle tool and drawing a rectangle. Use the color of your choice. And send it backwards. You can turn off the page grid now by going to view page grid. That's how you create a 3D stacking effect. As a bonus content, I'll add some shadows to make it even more realistic. Select the background and move it away. Select the white text and break them apart by going to path break apart select all the objects and go to objects ungroup now select every object of a single letter and group them by right click group or by pressing ctrl g repeat the same for every letter select the pen tool and draw a rectangle along one side of the letter e give it a black color and make the alpha channel around 30. Now select the shadow and the letter and group them by right click group and send it backwards. Move the black text aside for a while. Now repeat the process for all the letters. Draw the shape along the letter C. Now go to fill and stroke menu and tap the gradient button. Select the gradient tool and click and drag to create a gradient. Now make the alpha channel to around 30. Adjust the node. Now bring back the black text and send it backwards. And place the background again below the text. And that's how we create a stacking effect in Inkscape. Thank you for watching.